I have a book in my hands. And you know what this means? I have comments to comment on or reply to, I guess. I'm actually going to be commenting or replying to comments from both my main channel and this channel. And I think it'll be interesting because I've got some very interesting comments in here. And um, sorry, Fwip, I'm kind of stealing your idea for this because well, Fwip does the same thing. He has a book with comments. I just thought it was easier doing it this way instead of staring at my phone. Anyways, let's take a look at the first comment by Jared Merlin. JD, I'm having a hard time finding diamonds. All the digging I've done leads me into water, caverns. I can't seem to find any diamonds. Help! I feel the pain. In fact, I'm having problems. The exact same problems in my hardcore world. Uh, I'm, I'm just having a hard time finding diamonds. Sometimes it's just luck. But... Since caves and cliffs, diamonds are a little bit harder to find. They're, they're not really exposed to air as much as they used to be. But to be fair, if you go into a large cave that's down very, very far down, you are far more likely to find diamonds there. Try branch mining and hopefully you'll find it. But if you can... If you're brave enough to go into one of those big caves, then I recommend doing it because you will likely find plenty of diamonds. If all else fails, you'll, well, you'll be in trouble. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Next, Loud Donkey 487. We get it. It sinks. This is from my powder snow tutorial. Mm hmm. But that's not all the video's about. If you'd watched the whole thing, then you'd know. It's not just about you sinking. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. Next one. Jihad or Gad6799. This is on my, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Daylight Sensor video. Useless video. No information regarding what blocks on top disables the sensor and whether or not it works with transparent blocks on top. In a how to use video, I expect all the information. All right, let's do this. Daylight sensor. There we go. Let's get a bit of redstone. Redstone powder. Okay. Why don't we get a redstone lamp? That might help. And let's do this. Let's do um, stone block. How about a stone slab? Let's see what that does, huh? And let's see. We've got glass. Okay. So it's about to be nighttime, but uh, let's see. Time set day. All right. This is the experiment. Actually, I... I I am planning on doing some more uh, Minecraft science videos, but, well, you see, I haven't. Okay, there we go. It's light, uh, lit. Okay, with daylight, it should be off, right? It should be. Okay, so let's try this. Oops. See, it blocks the light. There you go. It blocked the light. It blocked the light. And whoops. <laughs> Boom. It does not block the light. I didn't... I guess I did omit that from the video. But it is common sense. I would assume that people would understand that a daylight sensor would sense light through transparent blocks but not through opaque blocks my mistake i guess it wasn't too common sense there we go okay let's get back to the comments uh mobion founder is it possible to get an efficiency five book from a librarian nope efficiency four is the maximum um, but you can combine two of them to get 
efficiency five. So there you go. Next. Elizabeth Romine, 2890. This is on my Can Adults Play Minecraft video from almost five years ago. So immature, laughing emoji. Not really. Um, in fact, I should probably pull up my, my response, but um, I'm not going to. I'll just uh, just wing it. So basically, it is not immature to play Minecraft. You get enjoyment. It's great at get ridding. Get ridding. Wow. English. Can I do it? Um, getting rid of stress is really good. It's it's great for mental health. You want to get rid of stress. Great for men mental health. Also, the community that I have found has been amazing. I have gained friends in this community. And some of these people are some of the most amazing people I have ever spoken with or met. Just so many amazing people. And just being able to cr gain these friendships is great. Secondly, now I am in uh, well the Adults Craft community and there are several people in the community who have various uh, issues such as uh, depression or uh, they just want to have some kind of group where they can feel like they are a part of and included and they they have an area we do have an area for people to speak about their issues their problems and it's almost like a support group and it has helped so many people i know that there have been people who have been saved from things like uh i don't want to say the word but it starts with an s uh, s u i c i d e yeah there have been people that have been saved from that because of communities that they're in and we have had people who have had incredible support incredible help i have met some people who have been incredibly generous to others and when they have had issues such as losing a job being becoming unemployed there's been actual financial help this all comes from playing minecraft okay people are getting just amazing support and this this community has just been incredible as well it um it i have played it with my daughter and we've enjoyed it quite a lot in fact my daughter pretty much introduced the game to me so it has resulted in bonding with my own child so i don't call this immature no not at all Someone who uses the laughing emoji and says, so immature, I don't think is very mentally mature themselves. No way. All right. Next up. Oh, I have to keep turning the pages. Casper Arts. Why does it sound like this man is on an airplane in my smoker video? Uh, that That's the, uh, the smoker block, not a person smoking. Um... I wasn't on an airplane. I was just, uh, I just made that video on my old laptop, which is sitting next to me. I don't play Minecraft on it. I do use it for other things, but I had a very, very, very cheap mono microphone that I was using and it was low quality audio. So yeah. I sounded like uh, other people have said sounded like I was on a long distance phone call. Yeah, that's possible. Or AM radio. Yeah, that's another one. Uh, although, uh, how many of you young people know what AM radio is? Yeah, usually the sports is on that. All right, next up. 
No, is this it? Okay, so moving on to comments from this channel here. Estelle, you have so much potential. I honestly thought you would have so much more subscribers and likes when I clicked. You'll get there, I can tell. And that's my building in Minecraft, by building a Minecraft map in survival. Well, thank you very much, Estelle. Uh, but uh, I'd just like to let you know that this is my second channel. My primary channel has 54,000 subscribers, so it's much bigger than this one. I haven't really advertised this channel on that channel, so not many people know about it. I should probably start linking all the videos in the in the community tab just so that people actually know this channel is is there. It would be nice. Maybe I'll start tonight. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much. I, I greatly appreciate the comment. I have had several years of experience uh, making YouTube videos. So uh, I went into this channel already with several thousand, not several thousand, but almost 2,000 videos already made. Oh, squid. And so I do have the experience. I have the equipment. I've, I have a very good quality mic. I have a very good quality video editor or vet, 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 that made sense. A very good video editing software. You see, I'm I'm not the best speaker all the time. That's why I edit videos. But this channel, I don't edit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for that comment. I I really appreciate it. Next up, flipping through the pages again, Kev Trev Tough. You've uh, actually made several comments, uh, but this one's an interesting one. I'm hyping myself up to start my new world once the update comes in a few weeks. So I screenshot my new world, six maps on a map wall, then took it to Walgreens and had them print a 14 by 16 print of it. You know what? I love that idea. In my single player world, now I've already replied to this comment. So um, Kev, I believe that's your name, right? Right, right. Kev, yes. Uh, I believe that, uh, yeah, I've already commented, I uh, replied to your comment. Uh-oh. Um, let me just get down here. So, yeah, um, I would actually like to do something similar with my uh, single-player world, uh, Saga of Labyrinthum, which is the video that uh, this comment is on about mapping that world uh and and releasing a map of the world no sorry the video is about creating a survival map in survival yeah and um and i would love to do that myself i don't have walgreens here but we got plenty of places where we can print things high quality the library is a good one, although uh, color copies are more expensive. But yeah, I would love to give it a try, and uh, uh, that might take a while, though. Next up, you've been waiting for me to to uh, to reply to this, Jack. <laughs> All right. Uh, could you make a video about how I went from a giant hater of you to someone that likes your content? Jack, I, well, I didn't, I haven't hated you. Let me just make this daytime because I want it to be daytime and I'm going to fly. I don't want to walk in this area. All right, Jack, I do appreciate your comments, actually. I've been so bad at replying to comments recently and I really do need to get to everyone's comments. And that is that is a, a big plan of mine. There's so many. I was going to call these icicles. Icebergs around here. Um, but you may... You, you probably have experience that I can be a bit of a smartass when I'm replying to comments. Uh, that's, that's just a thing I do sometimes when I'm in the mood. Um, but... I'm not going to make a video about that, but but 
since it is a comment and I'm doing a comments video right now, I thought I would add it in just so that um, I am speaking directly to you about this. But uh, yeah, I know there for a lot of the, the comments that you've had, I know a lot of them have been fairly negative, but I know it's not, not really negative towards me myself, but more towards just the topics at hand. Um, sorry, I need a drink. The topics at hand. But I do appreciate uh, you leaving the comments and I am going to get to all of your comments and reply to them. I promise that. And I have one more comment and I'm getting cold. This one is from Pythonator. Yay. Uh, I guess you can count me as a fan of his. Uh, I've been watching Pythonators or I should say Python MC or Python GB's videos for five years uh, since he was doing um, Python's World on his Python MC channel. And this was not too long after he started that channel. And he was still a, a member of Hermitcraft. So it's a long comment. So I've only just come across this vid. Uh, just wanted to say thanks for the mention. I appreciate it a lot. As much as I very much enjoy the more ye old style of Let's Play content, I don't think the faster paced vids are going anywhere anytime soon. Like you, my fond hope is that the ye old LP style catches back up to be as popular as the faster paced vids. It's nice to know we're not in a minority with our viewpoints with this. Our desire, desire for more ye old LP vids. Going by what other folks have said in the comments here. Great vid was an interesting watch. And I really appreciate... Oh, God. <laughs> I really appreciate you commenting and watching my video. I, I was very surprised to see a comment from Python... And for anyone who has missed it um, or did not watch that video, I mentioned that um, the the slower paced editing style uh, and well, or the slower paced video style is starting to become more popular again. And I mentioned that Python is one who has maintained that style throughout this whole let's make faster videos a la Mr. B I was gonna say Mr. Bean Mr. Beast and Dream was it Dream oh he's Mr. Beast uh but um I do appreciate that he continues to make those kinds of videos and uh, I mean Python and I really really enjoy watching them I have to watch them as like the day that they're uploaded, you know? And um, it is so... I'm just surprised because even though I've got a channel that, like, my main channel is, as I mentioned earlier, 54,000 subscribers, I don't consider myself to be a big YouTuber at all. Like, a lot of the big YouTubers probably don't know who I am. Um, there are a few that do follow me, and we're actually f uh, follow each other on things like Twitter. Um, for example, I think the biggest one is IBX Toy Cat. In fact, there was a chance we could have met when he was visiting Canada, and he was not that far from where I live. Um, like we could have met, and it would have been. It would have been great. Uh, I would have loved to have ta uh, spoken to him. But whenever I'm in, in his stream and we talk, yeah, he, he acknowledges me. Another one is Farzy. Like we, I've known him since he had just uh, 100,000 subscribers. And, and I remember when he started his SMP and he was on. I came on and um, and I was suddenly the only person he was talking to <laughs> he ignored everyone else it was just kind of funny but yeah farzi definitely appreciate you you're you're a great person as well and you know what i'm doing a podcast would love to have farzi on as well as python that would be great i think it would be wonderful to have them on ibx toy cat too 
I think it would be great chats with these people. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's great when like I know it's YouTubers are just regular people, and there are a lot of people who will be fans and absolutely go crazy when those people comment on their videos if like if they if they watch them and just having python comment on mine made me happy really happy but i comment on his videos all the time too and just just uh being able to speak to some of these people and you know what doing the the podcast it's been incredible speaking with with a lot of people by the way um the time that this video is up the next podcast episode is up and it's not a spoiler now it is gray sun who is an amazing builder go watch it on my main channel you gotta watch it and i'm just gesturing with my hand right now in real life pointing in some random direction it's just weird okay and um oh yeah python made a very good point here um the faster paced videos are not going on going away anytime soon yeah i agree they're here they're probably here to stay and i uh, i have no problems with that some people prefer that kind of video i sometimes watch that kind of video i actually do watch like whenever i watch uh let's say farzy's farzy does really quick edits and stuff but uh although i'd say farzy has done a lot of the smaller build type videos as well so it's it's kind of in between but um yeah I think that's all I'll say about that topic. But uh, I would like to, of course, thank everyone for your comments. I'm going to do these comment videos occasionally. Um, just because it's, I'd like to speak about these things and I find that I can get, I can get more out by talking rather than typing my responses. And in fact, I kind of, prefer speaking them out loud i don't know it just seems seems more like you can get my what am i trying to say you can get what i mean more clearly text does not convey emotion that's what i'm trying to say here all right so thank you very much for watching We've got ice spikes in the area, and what the heck is that thing? That is weird. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Igloo. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. And if you like videos like this, then please consider subscribing. And please leave some comments so I can reply to them in videos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.